consciousness and circulation, fully revitalized and refreshed. I am Saint Germain. And I ask you now to take a moment as you're coming back into your body to take a several deep breaths. Breathe. Hold the light within you. Be the light within you. Allow yourselves now to feel the love that is coming into you in this moment. Just feel it permeating throughout your body, the love of the Creator, the Source, the Source that is within all of you, all of us. Feel that immense love, and higher consciousness coming over you and through you now. Know that you are going to be taking this love and this higher consciousness and assimilating it within yourself and then spreading it out. Spreading it out to all that are ready for it. But this is the awakening, the awakening that you have all been working for and working toward and preparing for. Not only for this lifetime, but for many lifetimes, you have been preparing for these moments now, this great awakening that is upon us all. This awakening is about to happen to many across the planet and to this country, the United States of America. As people are awakened to what has been happening, to what is in the process of happening right now, it is not something they can hold off, even if they try to, even if those ones that are yet still asleep, if they say nothing is happening, it will be happening regardless. They cannot hold it back. Those of the dark forces cannot hold this energy back. They cannot hold this destiny back. It is not possible. For the dark forces have already been overcome by the forces of light. They just do not know it fully yet. But they have an inkling. They have that premonition within them that they have reached the end. That is why they are doing everything that they can now to hold it off, to hold off ascension, to hold off your awakening to hold off the revealings of the truths everywhere. But deep down within them, they know it is a lost cause. Yet they will fight to the end, many of them. Some have already capitulated. Some have already come over to the side of light. Some have already given up and allowed themselves to be taken out of the picture. But the picture that is in front of you now is still fraught with disconcerning thoughts and images that are being portrayed everywhere by your media, by those that believe they're in charge, yet they are not in charge, not anymore. Forces of light, your alliance, which is comprised of not only people here on the planet, 
but the galactics themselves are a part of this alliance and have been working diligently with your president, working side by side to bring about these immense changes that are about to occur. Immense changes that, again, those of the deep state, the cabal, the Illuminati, are doing everything they can to hold back, thinking they have won in some cases, or they believe they have won the presidency back. They believe they have won the Congress back. They believe that they have overcome those of the patriots, the right side. But this is not a political battle. This is not Republican versus Democrat. This is light versus dark. This is good versus evil. You all are in the process right now of bringing this all together. You, the boots on the ground, the alliance, the president, the other leaders of the rest of the countries that have turned over to the light. And many have. Some still have not and likely will not. But as they have been given every opportunity to come over to the side of the light and have chosen not to, they will be dealt with in various ways. Some that you will see here and some that you will not because it has been determined by many of the councils and only so much of this will be revealed to the public of this planet at this point. And I say at this point because eventually all will be revealed to all that are ready to hear it and to see it. As always, it is for those that have eyes to see and ears to hear and many, many more are finding those eyes and those ears now to be able to understand the truth and be able to accept the truth. At one time, the council said, said that the population of the earth was not ready for the truth that you could not handle the truth here. That has been changed. And it has been changed by the great plan that is in the works. That is why we and many others have said, trust the plan. That is why the organization known as Q has come on and said, trust the plan because those that are involved in this plan, that are involved in the inner workings of it, know that it will work and that it is in the process of working now. The storm is upon you, my friends. It is here now and it is going to become quite severe in certain points, but only to those that are not ready to see it, that do not understand what it is, what this storm is. For the storm to you is an opening, an awakening to fully who you are. That is what the storm is to you as you are looking at it. But the storm is also happening within each and every one of you. It's happening inside. That storm is raging within all of you. But yet, the storm that is raging within you, you are able to understand and handle it. But for those that are still yet asleep, 
they may well have great difficulty in understanding what is happening and why it is happening. That is where all of you come in. All of you that have been preparing for these moments, that is when you step out from the light and show them, show them the light, show them the vibrational frequency that they can now be in as well. For in that vibrational frequency, in those higher vibrational frequencies, the truth resides. Always remember that. And you are moving to a point now where the truth will be coming out in many, from many different directions, from many different sources, and in many different ways. The truth shall indeed set you free, for it is destined, it is prophesied that these are those end times. This is it. You have arrived. So be ready now. Be ready for the changes that are coming. Prepare yourselves as you are learning to prepare. Have supplies. Have water. Have all that you need to bring you through these somewhat tumultuous times that lie ahead. But we have said many times, fasten your seatbelts, for the road could become quite rocky. Well, you have reached that rocky road. Let yourselves now be ready to move across that road and to assist others in doing so as well. For this is the time, these are the moments Brace yourselves, for you have arrived. I am Saint Germain, and I leave you now in peace and love and oneness. And for you all to know that the storm is upon you. Oh.